Hello, so today I thought I would show you guys the fruit that we've just bought literally five, 10 minutes ago from the fruit market here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Just so you know, I'm starving hungry and I'm sacrificing eating my breakfast lunch right now to show you this because I think a lot of you will be interested. So we spent, how much did we spend Alex? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea how much we spent. I'll calculate it and shout it out. Everything is very cheap though here, which is amazing. So I'm gonna start with the cucumbers over here. So we've got six cucumbers and these were very cheap. Can't remember exactly how much, but everything is cheap. So we've got six cucumbers. They're a lot different to the cucumbers that you get in the UK. Um, they're a lot smaller and they just look very different. But I'm excited for these because this will be really, really refreshing because they're so watery and lovely. And oh, by the way, the fruit market we went to was Mang Mai. Is that right, Alex? Mai Mai. Yeah. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but yeah. that's the fruit market we went to and I've been there already But um, if you want to watch the vlog of it, we did vlog it so you can go check that out And then we got some papayas. These aren't ripe yet, um, but they were cheap So we got these and they'll ripen up all nice because papaya in the UK is revolting I've only ever had papaya in the UK and it tasted like sick, honestly, <laughs> like literally And I was so excited to try papaya here. The first papaya I tried was also disgusting and it tasted savory. I think it was just off. And then I tried another one and it was the best thing in the world. So I think that maybe we picked the wrong one or something, but we've got, how many of these did we get? We've got one, two, three, five of these. So five of these big papayas and when they ripen up, they should be absolutely delicious. And then we got these, rambutan, and the lovely lady at the fruit market let me try one. And they kind of taste like grapes, kind of. Um, same with mangosteens, they also taste like grapes, but they are white inside and they look like little monsters, like little creatures, and I think they're really cool. And we've got a kilogram of those, so we've got loads of them, and they're just gonna be a good little snack. I mainly got them because I wanted to try them just because they're an exotic, exciting fruit. And then we got mangoes. Now mangoes are gonna be the thing that I definitely will be eating the most of here, mangoes and bananas, because they're really filling and they're just incredible here. These are really, really cheap. Um, again, how much are these a kilo? 20 baht. 20 baht a kilo, which is how much in? 50p. About 50p a kilo, which is so, so good. And this is a totally different type of mango than the type that we get in the UK. And honestly, we tried one the other day and it was probably the best fruit I've ever eaten in my life. It was so good. Oh look, there's a little insect here. There's a little slug who's joined us. I bet he was in one of the fruits. Yeah. <laughs> a little slug on the floor. Yeah, we've got um, two kilos of mango and I'm so excited. I'm gonna have these in a minute and they go really well on oats as well. Don't know if I fancy oats today because it's really hot, but um, oh, just everything mango is just so good. And then we've got some limes. We've got six limes, we've got half a kilo and these were really cheap. How much were they? It was 20 baht. 20 baht for all of these limes when in the UK, it would cost what like three or four for a pound. yeah get like three or four of these for a pound so that was an absolute score and this is gonna be great um to squeeze on top of rice and tofu and all that sort of stuff like at home i put rice i put lime or lemon on everything i'm sure you will have noticed in my yh days <laughs> and then we got some bananas now these are totally different bananas again to the ones you get in the uk because these ones are little baby ones and i think they're called um, what are these called? Ladyfinger bananas. And then these ones, I don't know if these are ladyfinger as well, but they are also a bit smaller than the ones you get in the UK. And I love that they come in these big, big bunches and you can actually buy them when they're ripening up because most of the time in supermarkets, bananas are green and it takes like a week for them to ripen over here because it's so warm and you can buy them like that. It's just so great and they taste so, so lovely. And then moving on to vegetables, we got some broccoli because I love broccoli and I can't go without it. It's my favorite vegetable. So I just picked some of that up to have with rice and tofu and stuff. Because at home, again, I would have like broccoli every day. And then we've got this huge bag of loads of chopped vegetables. I kind of got this after I got the broccoli because my friend who was uh, shopping with me, she got this and I was like, oh my God, that's a really smart idea. So it's loads of chopped, let me try and see if I can show you. It's loads of chopped vegetables. So it looks like we've got broccoli, carrots, cabbage, sweet corn, 
maybe some pumpkin, some cauliflower. So that's gonna be just perfect to just shove in our rice cooker to stir fry and steam up um, with some rice on the days when we're not eating out or for lunch or whatever. It's just gonna be great. And that is everything that we got. So if we didn't spend much money, do you know how much we spent, Alex, now? Uh, I'm guessing it's like, you know, like eight pounds. Okay, so it's been under 10 quid for all of this stuff. I don't know how long it will last because we eat a lot of food, but it's just great here that everything's so cheap and high quality and delicious. We've been eating out most evenings because it's a social thing here. Going to the festival, and there's lots of people around, but it's nice to go to the markets for meals in the day. And I will be doing a what I ate today, today or tomorrow to show you the sort of foods that I'm using here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it the little, 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 little. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I can't reach you because all the fruit is in my way. But, but goodbye. <laughs> Look at all this fruit. I'm gonna go in here right now. <laughs>